Hello Aries. This is a monthly, bi-monthly reading rather, for you guys from June 15th through the end of the month. Let's see what we have for you guys. What messages do we have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs? Let's see. What's currently going on with Aries? What's currently going on with Aries? Please show me. All right. Got that one. Which is the Ace of Swords. That Aries energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And we have Temperance here, which is Gemini. Not Gemini, but Sagittarius energy. Um, temperance is, of course, about balancing your heart and your head okay getting your thoughts together some of you may feel like you have been all over the place but i feel like now you guys are kind of getting it together you know you're realizing that nobody can do it but you and i feel you guys moving towards being more grounded um getting in sync and in touch with yourselves what you want and um that's a good thing there okay what is challenging Aries? What's challenging Aries for the 15th through the 30th? What's challenging Aries? Page of Swords here. Okay, so the Page of Swords is, um, doesn't speak a whole lot, but they definitely have a, have a plan in place. They, they are checking things out. So I feel like before you guys actually jump into something or you know are gung-ho about something there's probably a need to kind of step back and evaluate what it is that you're trying to step into i feel like some of you are stepping into uh new endeavors new relationships even here and um just to kind of feel things out and see if it's going to be beneficial for you okay Again, that's that air energy there. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. <clears throat> what is the foundation for Aries reading? Why are we here? The foundation for Aries reading. Okay. Six of Pentacles. I do feel like this is more about a relationship. And of course, everybody knows that um, relationship readings, love readings, that is my, that's my niche. Okay, so I feel like there is a situation where you're trying to figure out if you are matching someone, should you give more? Are you giving enough? Okay, so not to get too much either. That is a thing. So you want to be like equally yoked with somebody vibing with somebody on the same page with somebody here with the six of pentacles energy this is Taurus energy here so i feel that either way the the scale was tipped more one way than the other for you guys in the past either you were giving too much and the other person was not reciprocating like they should have been or you guys may feel like you were giving too little so either way that equal exchange of energy is why we're here today. And you're trying to figure out how to deal with that, I feel, for some of you, okay? So what was going on in the recent past for Aries? What's going on, what was going on in the recent past? A nine of wands. Okay, so um, a lot of you guys feel like you were the ones that were like giving, 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 and you weren't getting the same return. You grew tired. It's like, fuck this shit. <laughs> you know, I'm not doing that anymore. But I feel like there's definitely somebody that is present here that some of you are wanting to give another chance or either there's somebody new here that you're not wanting to repeat your old ways with and giving this person too much without having them meet you halfway okay sagittarius energy i do see you like really wanting to um work things out hear a person out see things from somebody else's point of view you want to be fair you want your relationships to be fair Cry thoughts for 
Aries. Family thoughts for Aries. The Ace of Wands here. You have two aces. This is a new beginning. This is something new that you are acting upon. New thoughts, new actions, um, a new way of doing things. You want to start over. And I feel like you want to uh, be more active now. Some of you may have kind of been still for a while and you felt like you needed to be still for a while. You needed to get your head and your heart together. And I feel like right now a lot of you are at that point where you're grounding yourself. Okay? You're grounding yourself. And you're not confused about what it is that you want you're not confused about what it is that you need from somebody a relationship <clears throat> what is coming in for Aries it's coming in for Aries I see a seven of Pentacles here I do see you guys investing in someone okay investing your time and your energy putting planting your seeds seeing where things could go I do see that for you I see that for you here. You you are moving from the Six of Pentacles to the Seven of Pentacles. This is, you know, having that equal exchange of energy, feeling that vibe with that person, and then deciding to invest in a situation here with the Seven of Pentacles. Again, Taurus energy is present for you guys. How's Aries viewing their situation? Ten of Wands is going to be some hard work. So why do we have Sagittarius here very strongly and we have Taurus in your reading? Gemini Taurus energy, I feel, for you guys. But um, I think that you are ready to uh, stop doing something. Okay? Stop taking all of the burden on. Um, and placing it on your own shoulders. You're ready to share that responsibility with someone. It's what I see. <clears throat> You're ready. What is the influence here for Aries? A five of cups energy here. You were down and out for a while. And I feel like, you know, there was a situation that had you guys feeling as though you weren't going to have that soulmate type of love or that situation or relationship where you found your person. Okay? You weren't seeing that clearly. All you could see was that, you know, your hurt feelings here and what has happened to you. There was a situation I feel that some of you were, were disappointed about not getting back together with someone at some point. And you weren't looking behind you. You couldn't see that there were two cups still back there. That haven't spilled over. They're still there. So I feel for a lot of you guys, there is a person from your past that you cared so very deeply for. And things didn't work out the way that you had planned or wanted them to work out. But there's still a lot of love between you and this person, whether you know it or not. Whether it's this person here or whether it's somebody new. There's still a lot of love between you and a past person, regardless of who's showing up here. Okay. If you felt like the, the person from the past was um, a love that like no other and that you would never have that again that's not true because somebody is definitely here somebody's showing up for you okay this is Scorpio energy here and whether there's somebody new or not again there's still a lot of love and um, connection between you and someone else whether you guys ever be together again I don't know that but that love is here I see that you may not know that if you haven't talked to them in a while okay Hopes or fears for Aries. Okay. Death. You guys are fearful that whatever is happening between you and this person here, that it's is going to end. 
And I think that fear is stemming from whatever happened before in the past. Like it's, this situation is going to play out like it did before with you and someone else or with you in a past person. Okay. I think you're fearful that, um, that things are not going to be different this time for you. You want them to be different. Again, that Scorpio energy there. So this could very well be a past person for you, for some of you. And for some of you, this is somebody new. But there's remnants of hurt here um, with somebody in the past. <clears throat> Let's see the overall outcome for Aries. Okay, jumping card there. Look at that. Just going to jump right on out of there. Ten of Cups there. The outcome. This is going to be an emotionally fulfilling relationship for you. It's going to be different than your past relationship where you experienced all of this sorrow and hurt. And that you're going to be emotionally fulfilled here. Like, like the ultimate committed and loving connection that I feel like you guys felt that you were lacking before. Okay, this is going to be an awesome ride for you with this Ten of Cups energy, this Piscean energy here. So I'm loving this for you guys for the remainder of the month. And um, yeah, so that is what I have for you guys. And I'll be speaking with you guys soon.